So the next step uh, would be applying our batch gradient descent algorithm over here. And I just want to quickly give you an overview over what's happening here. So first we're iterating over all our examples in our training set. So in this case our three examples. And if you have a look at this over here, then you notice that we already did that. We already computed our y of x. And what remains is just to take our ground truth class, which is 1 or 0. In our first example, it's 1. Subtract this, subtract this y, and then we get our delta. And we will later see that this, um, yeah, minus delta times x is actually the derivative of our loss function. So uh, this comes in handy again with our gradient descent. So what we do is, um, in order to yeah, update our weights, we have to subtract eta times this term over here, times our derivative, and subtracting something negative means adding something positive. So we add eta, our learning rate, times this part over here. And um, yeah, this is again simple computations. I just want to uh, want to raise awareness here that what we do here is actually summing up all our delta w values for all our examples over here. So for each example, and then in in the end we get one large double uh, delta w. This one over here, and this is used to update our w in one single large step. And this is where this batched in batch gradient descent comes from. So all those examples are batched into one batch and per batch we do one update over here. And uh, yeah, this is what happens in this step. And um, afterwards we can again do the computations of task A where we now, instead of our w, use our adjusted w plus delta w. And then we can see um, that we actually, considering our predictions, we actually moved closer to our ground truth values on our training set. And this is what learning means in, in this case, using our gradient descent.